Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my sports wire. Phil Chapman here, along with Jacob Edwards of Hiawatha. Jacob is a senior at Hiawatha, has aspirations to do some of the camera work here. Norseman started off with a bang. Norsemen are shooting, I bet, 65% from three-point land. Oh, if wow. not higher, their JV is. Unbelievable. Well, welcome to the show, uh, Jacob. Reggie Chapman on the camera. Glad to have him as well. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Appreciate it. Sorry again, folks, for bringing this to you. Tape delayed. You may or may not know the score. We get this up pretty quick for you. We like you to watch it live, and we appreciate all of your help in making it live. We do have a software issue that we're trying to resolve as we emailed you out. Newark started off 3 nothing, and Jared Slifka with the bucket, and then Jared Slifka with the foul. There's a swat, and then out of bounds, there'll be Newt Norseman ball. A nice swap by Nathan Christian. Hawks were just trying to get a grab on that. Yeah, the point guard there, Ty, he practice, he loves going to the hole a lot. He can get there pretty easily, usually. There's Chapman going to the hole. Good bucket for him. Decent-sized crowd already here. Norseman will be relentless and trapping things and tipping and the sophomore team, I don't know how many points they're averaging, but it's got to be close to 70. You said 70? Yeah. Wow. I think they were winning. I think they were winning 53 to 8 against Seneca the other night in the oh. first half. That's pretty impressive. Especially because the JV games are shorter, too. Yeah, they are. They're putting up that amount of points. They like shooting threes. Nice tip out by Slifka. Here's a three from, oh, I assumed he was going to take it. Towson been getting a lot of points off the three-point line. Nate Christian drives to the hole. And Nate had seven threes last game. I think Chapman and Towson each with three. Nine to nothing here early on. Nice little drive and scoop there. Nothing doing. This Acre brings it down. Now, do you guys practice together, or do you guys? Uh, uh, yeah, we we practice together. We'll uh, we'll split up the gym in half, and the JV will run their stuff for a little bit, and we'll run our stuff, and we'll come back at the end, and try to do everything together. Usually, usually we we'll run a live scrimmage. What we like to do is in the last hour of practice, we'll run the scrimmage like a game, like a live game. Yeah, that's nice. And we'll put up a, a scoreboard and eight-minute quarters. That's great. Yeah, the JV and varsity here practice together almost exclusively. Long three by Chapman. Can't get it to roll. Tip out by Tolleson. Good hustle. Yeah, just with the size of our teams, they practice together all the time. and oh, So they're constantly competing against each other. And four of these uh, starters also play varsity ball. You guys must have uh, lower numbers this year then. Long three, man, that was all the way in and out. Yeah, we we have uh, nice outlet pass. Seven, I think, on the varsity, and then with the four sophomores, that makes it eleven. Nice patience by Chapman, waiting for Slipka to open up. He had the pass right away. He had the pass right away to Tolleson, but waited for Slipka. Saw that opening up. Now, how's your season going for you? I, I haven't been uh, tracking it too much, Jake. Uh, our season has uh, been up and down. We've uh, been struggling this year. Only one win that came against uh, Christian Liberty, private school out of Chicago. We had a pretty good shooting night that night. We played some good defense. We've always, uh, we started off games pretty well. The first half usually goes pretty well. We're neck and neck with teams. And in the second half, we usually, you know, pressure gets to us or something. Uh, it's hard to explain. I don't know. It's been a problem for a long time at our school. We're trying to turn it around here. Yeah, yeah. You guys are a football school too. Yeah. Which is not normal for the little ten. No, no, not really. No. <laughs> no, we don't see that too often. Reggie, you have a quick question.
11 to nothing. All our timeout sponsored by Mark's Auto Service, 815 695 5500. Give Mark and Jody a call. They'll get you hooked up, especially in this tough weather. You have a car, Jacob? Uh, yeah, I have a little 2001 Saturn L200. Oh, nice. Saturns run for a long time. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I don't think you're going to probably bring it down to Millington uh, to get it worked on, but if you do, <laughs> uh, Mark's Auto Service is where you want to go. All right. Well, if I were in the area, I'll check it out. There you go. Jump ball in favor of the Norsemen. 11 to nothing. Four minutes, just over four minutes left here in the first quarter. Oh, I think an incorrect arrow. It's not showing on the outside. Oh, there you go. The old tap on the <laughs> blue ball. Yeah, just hit it hard enough, it'll turn on. <laughs> Yeah, that was old school. They literally tapped the light and it turned on. That's great. Yeah, I'd like to be able to see uh, big old Austin Sunderlich, number 33 down there, get going tonight. He has a hard time finishing around the rim, but he can be very productive when he can get going. Chapman driving, gets it out to Acre from downtown. Off the iron, tip out, nothing doing. Two fouls in the game so far, both by the Norsemen. Tolleson will come up with it, gives it off to Chapman. Here they come. Up to Slipka, got him in a tough angle. Chapman sees the lane, drives. I thought it was going to be out of bounds. I think that's the right call. See some of the Patrick family coming in. Senior night, interesting enough. We've got three home games left after this, but they're doing senior night tonight. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah, not uh, the normal thing. So we'll go with it. Nice move by Christian. 13 to nothing, Norseman lead. Hiawatha Hawks. Now, do you live in Kirkland or? Yeah. I, I've lived in Kirkland my whole life. Most of these kids have been born, born in you know the area and then raised in Kirkland most of their lives. Great. So we've all kind of grown up together, which helps, you know. Oh, you yeah. Play sports because you learn Definitely how to work helps. with each other. They call a carry on Chapman on there. Ooh, Slipka got crushed. Good job taking it, even though he wasn't standing normal that you'd see. And then Slipka got hit by the coach. <laughs> Did you, you missed that, Jacob. Your coach was pointing, and Slipka wasn't looking at oh. the 21, our freshman. And he, Reggie thinks he got it on camera. <laughs> and he got poked by the coach. Whoops. I mean, completely unintentional. <laughs> Oh, I like that nice little curl. There. Yep. Nice drive. Way to use the glass there too. A lot of guys will just try to go over the top. Chapman with the steal gives off to back to Nathan. He'll slip, try to slip it over to Tolleson. Nice this is Kunkel just checking in. Long three. He hit seven of those, and I think he hit five in a row over nice at rebound. Seneca. There by Matt Korb. Nice drive, kick. Yeah, the, he's a pretty good ball player, number five. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Ty Cohen. He actually played quarterback for us in the second half of the season. Our wow. starter went down with a broken collarbone. He came in and did a pretty phenomenal job. Actually ended up getting honorable mention. Hawks underneath here. Most ways looking around. Tries to get in the Smith. Scramble as a jump. It's going to be Norseman ball here underneath. Now it's actually Norseman. I think they got the light fixed up. Fixed up. Yeah. <laughs> Ted ball. Christian just continuing to drive. A lot less uh, outside shooting for the Norseman early on. Hiawatha coach helping out the referee there. <laughs> Making sure he knew what direction to point. <laughs> Norseman switched defenses. He'll advise pass there. Get to Chapman, he'll go up left-handed. Get the bucket. 17 to two. 
two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Oh, there's a nice around there. Balls all over the place. Might have been nice a look. little shuffle there, but nice out, oh. inside out pass. Acre will come up with it, and he'll shovel it over. Here we go, 135 to go. Nathan will pull the trigger, you know that. Off the iron, good follow by Acre, but couldn't come up with it. 17 to two. Just under 130 to go here in the first quarter. Reggie on camera, Jacob Edwards, Hiawatha senior on color. I'm Phil Chapman, welcome to my sports wire. Here's a 16-footer, can't get it to go. Nice board there. Is this the big guy you were talking about? This is the big guy. Long there three, bank is open, it's Friday night, Pay payday night. Nice shot there by Josue. Him and uh, number 30, Matt Corbin, 20 are all freshmen this year. That's, oh. that's good to see. They actually had one of the more successful uh, middle school runs, won a lot of ball games in the middle school for our team. Looking to bring it up here to the JV level and hopefully the varsity in the next couple of years. Yeah, you always try to look at those younger ages, see where they're at, try to build a program around that. They do a quick clear out for Chapman. We'll see what opens up here. Chapman pulls up from three, off the iron. I'm not sure if that's what Coach Avery had in mind, but maybe it was. I know it's a clear out for Jacob. That was a nice pass there. Wide open. Long three, bank and no. 20 seconds remaining, here comes Christian. Long three for Tollison, his first attempt. Chapman comes up with the board. Got a box out there. Bam! <laughs> Chapman nearly play. gets a steal. Good to see another three go in. Christian has nine already, Chapman with six. 20 to five is your score currently. 5.6 seconds left, a little tip out. If anything, that delays the time. Long three, oh. that would have counted if it went. There you have it, first quarter over, 20 to five in favor of the Norsemen. We'll be back right after this. Well, 20 to five is your score. Heading into the second quarter. Jacob Edwards with us. We're glad to have you, Jacob. Now, uh, your aspiration to be a broadcaster at, at some point, is that right? Yes, sir. I think you were telling me that uh, you want to broadcast even as early as next year. Uh, I would love to be able to broadcast early as next year. But it's uh, got to find the funds for it first. <laughs> yep, yep, and uh, that, that's what it takes, finding sponsors and uh, getting that ability to uh, be able to put together a package and, and figuring it out. Um, I figure it costs about $1,800 to really get yourself set up in the equipment, but it's the, uh, then it's the, it's how to do it. It's right. the understanding the technology of it, how to make it work cleanly, and that's something that has taken a little bit of time, but uh, we're hoping that you're able to do some of that. Chapman got himself nice. caught in a corner, and nice a nice steal by there. the Hawks. That's right where you want to trap him. Good follow oh. by Tollison. Long three, bam! We'll trade a two for three any day. I got Chapman on the foul. Yeah, I'd love to be able to broadcast, because you know, especially since I know these guys. Oh, yeah. 
that's what makes it fun is uh, when you know the team and, uh, you know, being the voice of a, a team is always a fun thing. It's something that you give back to the community. Oh, absolutely. Opportunity to do something you nice love. And, there. and yet uh, you're giving back to so many. I know so many grandparents and, and aunts and uncles and different people are watching the broadcast because they don't normally get to see it. Yeah, that's definitely something I'd love to be able to do, especially because Hiawatha is a little different. It's a little far farther away from most schools in the Little Ten. Right. And I know a lot of the parents can't make some of these away games. There we go. Nice ball movement there. 23 to 9. Long three for Tolleson. Bam! Wow. Showing some range there. 26 to 9. That's Tolleson's first bucket. Nice, nice play. Yep. There we go. That's good fundamental play right there, and, and Coach Avery's not going to be happy about it. We'll be right back after this. Eight left in the half, 26 to 11, the Norsemen lead, but the Hawks making a little push here. Yeah, Some it's fundamental basketball. We've uh, had a problem all year. There's always been at least one quarter, it seems like, in all of our games where we're throwing out. Oh, that was a nice jumper there. Dawson with back to back threes. He has six. There always seems to be one quarter in a game where we just fall asleep or we're not ready to roll. Yeah, that long bus ride does it to you sometimes, too. Absolutely. Here come the Norsemen right back at him. They're going to give back to Tolleson in the corner. He loves that bam. spot. Oh, I wanted to yeah. say bam right there. I owed him one. That's a, just a foul with his hand caught in the cookie jar, and he shouldn't have even done that one. Mama was standing right there. <laughs> That's only his first. Team's fourth. Two fouls for the Hawks. We're here in the second quarter. Someone's got to go to the ball. 29 to 11. Ah. There's a nice tip out by Towson. We'll see if he can get his eighth point in a row. Yep. It's good Number anticipation seven and eight. there. 31 to 11, 20 point lead for the Norsemen. They'll want to extend this as far as they can this half. Uh, There's a down travel, down the but no call. 30 second. Good timeout. Yeah, we'll take a quick 30 second. We'll be right back. Mike Rowe here at the Parker residence where the upstairs toilet is not good. Luckily, the Parkers called Benjamin Franklin Plumbing, and now their plumber, Tony, is literally bending over backwards to get things moving again. You should see him. It's incredible. Tony brought all the tools and parts he needs to do the job from start to finish, which, by the sound of it, is right now. When you got to go, go with the pros at Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. And by go, I don't mean go with, you know what I mean. Call 877-BEN-1776. Each independent franchise is licensed in its respective state or county. We lost our camera feed. Hawks inbound a 22-0 sway, kick over to Corb. Corb at the wing, kicks over the opposite wing to Sterling. Sterling throws over the backcourt. Chapman steals the ball, driving. Gets fouled on the way up. He'll be shooting two here. I guess I'll take over the reins here while Phil tries to figure out the, the camera work. Chapman good on the first free throw. Second free throw attempt is good. 22 for the Norseman checking in. Forgive me, I don't know everybody's name here. Well, we don't know what's wrong, friends. We'll, uh, we're still trying to, everything, nothing changed. Norseman have a good trap there. It goes over and back. 
Well, Jacob, we're going old school here. We're going uh, just like a radio right now. Fine with me. So you have at it while I try to fix this. All right. Norson with the ball top of the key here. Looking around. Got an open shooter on the right wing. Shoots three rattles in and out. Hawks come up with the ball. Number 30, Matt Cord pushing down the court, pulls out of a trap. Kicks over to Sterling. Sterling back to Josue. Austin Sunderledge in the middle, throws up a shot off the rim. Out of bounds. North, er, seems to be Hawks ball. Looking, looking, trying to get the ball in. Tipped over to Corp. Corp for three. Off the backboard and off the rim. Hawks go back up with the rebound. Miss. Save the pass all the way back to the three-point line for Corp. Corp to host sway. Hey, we'll we'll be back, friends, here in a minute. It's three minutes left. Norseman up 33-11.